Good morning. So, I'm going away in the van today. It's just going to be me today by myself. Laura's at work, so I'm uh, I'm going to have a couple of days away by myself. It's 5 to 8 in the morning. I'm looking to get everything sorted and hopefully leave around about lunchtime. So, I'll see you soon in the van. Right, so I'm in the van. I'm ready to go. It is 12.56, so I'm only about an hour, an hour later than, than what I thought I would be, so that's not too bad. Normally we'll leave at about 8 o'clock at night, so I'm getting better. Um, I just need to call up to a, a shop first, where there's going to the beach. I want to see if I can get a windbreak. Um, it's late summer. Well, the summer holidays are finished now, so I might not be able to get one, but we'll see. They might have one, they might not. Alright, okay. So, I've just got George Bay, um, I've parked up, paid the parking fee, and I'm following the sign to the beach. I've got a, a little beach shelter, didn't get a windbreak, I didn't have any, so it'll be fine, I'm sure. So there's a car park just behind there. So just near cross the road, and I assume follow the footpath. So, let's make sure I'm not going to get run over. Uh, yeah, so I'll come back to you once I'm at the beach. Yeah, so uh, I'll just see if I can show you behind. Yep, that's the beach there, uh, just behind. Obviously, I'm going to walk towards it. Uh, the trees just behind, that's where the footpath was. So, literally, two minute walk, if that, through the trees. And then we're hopefully coming down to the beach. So, yep, there's the beach. Just there. There's the beach. Alright, so as you can see, the beach is massive here, absolutely massive. Um, I don't think I want to stay in this spot though, because it's a bit crowded. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get the drone out if I can, but there's, there's families with young children and that, so I don't really want to want to record them if I can help it, you know, just for, for privacy and safeguarding reasons. So I think I'll keep walking and see where I get to. Alright, so if you can see behind, um, massive sand dunes. Huge, you might not be able to see that because the sun's that way. Um, like I say, they're, they're huge. Got to be higher than what my home is, you know, what the, the roof line on my home, the sand dunes are bigger than that. Let me see, absolutely huge. Um, I don't know if you can see the line of concrete blocks in the, in the distance. Let's see if I can kind of over that kind of way. Um, I think if I recall from my younger days, I was told that concrete blocks were put on the, the beaches around the country for defense for the World War II in case the Germans tried to invade. Pesky Germans. Um, yeah, so they couldn't drive the tanks up the, up the shore and into land and take us over. Bloody Germans, you know, kind of trust them with anything. Aye, right, so like I say, I'm just having a wander along the, the beach. Like I say, it's just, uh, if you can see behind, it's just a big, flat, long beach. It must stretch for miles. So I'll just have a, have a wander and see what happens. See where I get. I've got some sandwiches and stuff in my bag, so if I get hungry, I'll have a stop and I'll have something to eat. Alright, so it looks so I'm gonna get wet feet here if I want to continue any further. Um something coming out of there, I don't know, can I zoom in on it? Out of there. Um I'd like to think it's fresh water, but all you read in the news lately is uh the water companies dumping literal poop <laughs> into the oceans, <laughs> into the seas rather. So, um, I don't know if it is fresh or not, but uh, there's there's no way around it. There's, I've got to go over it, so let's see if I can spot a way. Um, nah, down on here. Hmm. 
Nope, wet feet. Let's hope it is just water. Oh, it's cold. Oh, hey. All right. Just drain the water out of my Crocs. All right, so that's us over the water. Uh, I'll just keep going. Um, seems to have flattened off a bit here, but still just behind. Um, like I say, the, the beach just seems to go on for miles and miles and miles. Um, I think further up ahead behind the camera is where I used to go fishing with my old neighbor years ago. Uh, I can't remember the, the name of the place. It's, uh, it's near Cresswell anyway. Um, basically the, there was a aluminium melting point, Alcan it was called. It used to um, send the, the hot water out that cooled the, the furnaces. Um, if that's actually no, I think Alcan was further towards north. Um, there was some sort of industrial complex anyway. Like I was saying, it used to send hot water out. And as a result of that, the fish used to be attracted to that area because it was, it was warmer than the surrounding water. I don't know what made it attractive to fish, but we seem to like it. We always used to catch fish when we went. But um, yeah, like I say, I think that's further on in the, in the distance. I'm not going to walk all that way. Like I said, literally the beach just goes for miles and miles and miles. Excuse me, just scratch my nose. <laughs> So yeah, um, it's not the nicest of days, you know, it's a, I don't even know if I'll bother putting the shelter up. I've got a towel in the bag, I might just put that down and sit on it. Um, so yeah, um, you don't want to hear me just waffling and walking, so I'll just, I'll go and I'll come back to you if there's anything to update you on. Right, so um, I've stopped. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, just over the, the right shoulder. Um, this the shoulder uh, as a bloke he's got absolutely nothing on whatsoever um so i'm gonna <laughs> turn back and go the other way it's not really something i want to see all right so i'm not gonna turn the camera around just in front of us as a, a guy running absolutely stout as straight into the sea um let's hope it's not cold for him Right, so I'm done here at the beach. I'm heading back to the van. Um, I've not done much filming. Sorry, there's, there's people coming. So, um, someone came up to us and asked if I would mind not filming because apparently I was on a nudist part of the beach, which explains the, the two blokes walking around with an out on. Um, like I say, so whatever. So anyway, like I say, I'm going to head back up to the, the beach, get to the car park, get the van, and I think I might have a coffee before I leave. Laura will be finished work soon, so I'll see you when I'm back at the van. Right, so I found a little path through. Uh, I'm walking up a, a little dirt track. I didn't really fancy crossing that little river, maybe, thing again. Um, like I say, I don't know, don't know what's in the water. I didn't really want to stand in it if i'm honest i don't know maybe i'm too paranoid but like i say north and real water have been one of the ones i've been dumping most of the, the sewage straight into the seas so it wouldn't surprise us if that was what was flowing through that i've just had to stamp through it before so i didn't want to do it again sorry i'm just looking down to the side to see what's there it's like a steep drop to the side so yeah, I'm just gonna let's say walk back to the van. Uh, oh wow! So just over this way, there's big wetlands. I'll turn around. I don't know. There, can you see just behind my head? Uh, turn it that way. Uh, I'll see if I can flip the camera. Just zoom in. Sorry there. Like I say, it's um, sun's over that way, so apologies if I blinded you. Yeah, so oh, glasses are steaming up. <laughs> Take those off. Uh, yeah, so I'm just walking back to the van now. The cyclists just coming up, so we'll have to watch them. Um, when I get in, I'll get a cuppa, 
and I've just seen a little car park as I was walking up this dirt track. Uh, where I'm parked at the minute in the in the country park, you're not allowed to fly a drone. It, it specifically says you're not allowed to fly a drone. So I might bring it back to this little car park uh, and see if I can launch a drone from there. Like I say, it's it's looks amazing around here, you know. It's absolutely love it by the coast. Like I say, I was was brought up by the coast, um, fishing with my dad. Absolutely love it. Every time I come to the coast, I just think, hmm, wonder, wish I brought my fishing rod. You know, like I say, it's uh... sorry, I thought there was someone coming behind us. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to quickly turn this off because one, I'm rambling and two, I'm coming up to this cyclist. He's, he's stopped and he's having a little pause. So, All right, I'll see you when I'm back at the van. Right, so I'm in a van. I've moved spots. I've moved from the um, county park, I think it was called, George Bay County Park. Um, like I say, I wanted to fly the drone, but it specifically said I wasn't allowed to fly the drone. So I've moved to a different car park it's a tiny little thing there's only space for three vehicles but well i'm here uh so it doesn't really matter <laughs> you know i know that's a bit selfish but never mind um yeah so i've just had the the drone out for a little bit bear in mind i'm still new at flying the drone um i thought i'd try doing one of the the pre-programmed shots you know where like it it flies around you and does a zoom in and weaving around and you know doing doing that sort of thing and it decided to shoot up to 100 meters high um and shoot away from us to try and do it short um and i totally lost sight of it because it's really really misty um like i said i started to panic a little bit because i was thinking uh, uh oh you know it's going to can't see it can't hear it um so on the controller there's a little thing where you can cancel whatever it's doing you can cancel the the little shot it's doing and then get it to return to its home point so i like i say i, I was a little bit panicky thinking oh, oh i've lost this drone you know i mean laura paid a lot of money for it um i, I don't want to say how much but it, it was a lot of money um enough to be very annoyed if I had lost it. Like I say, she would have went mental at us. Um, yeah, so I've done this return to home thing, and it 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 was flying back according to the the remote control. I could see it on the screen, but it was in the mist, um, and it was saying it was right above us, and I was I was looking up, you know, I couldn't see it, and I was starting to panic a bit. I was thinking, oh oh oh, oh I've lost this, I've lost it. Uh, and then I noticed, like I say, it was uh, like 100 meters in the sky. I hadn't noticed up until this point how high it was. I thought, all right, I'm going to just bring it down, you know. So so I thought, if I bring it down, then hopefully I'll be able to, to kind of see it, you know. And I was bringing it down and bringing it down and bringing it down. Still couldn't see it. I was thinking, uh, you know, what's going on, you know. It was down to about 50 meters. I was like I say, I thinking, uh, has it flown somewhere else instead of to like where I am? And then just all of a sudden it just appeared out of the mist. Oh, hey, like I say, my heart was going like a clap as it was just boop, 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 in my chest, you know. I, I quickly landed it, I've packed it away, I've come in, I've, I've chickened out of flying it. So, um, like I say, I'm in the van, um, I need to tidy my stuff up because the floor's a mess. And then I didn't get that cup that I was going to have before. I had a can of orange juice instead, fizzy orange. So I think I'll have a, a coffee. What's the time? Oh, two minutes because I need to get Laura's. Literally just text is. Uh, just had to clear it off my watch. Um, Ten to seven. So I think it might be a decaf coffee. So right, I'll, I'll quickly clear the floor and I'll get myself a cuppa.